You should know I know the mercies off the table Think that you can try to spare me like I'm someone When you didn't spare my brother so we get dumped out What's up guys, this is D1B Universe and in a few years this is the first video you're seeing of me being back. I'd like to let you know the reason why I was gone for long is because I was enjoying being lazy for the very first time ever since I got to college. So, with that being said, I'm going to get started on Gravity Falls episode 15. If you have not seen my episodes 13 and 14 reactions, please go and watch them because again, it, it works with chronological orders of the show and also works with chronological things I'm going to say about my life or something like that. So, because I don't like repeating over and over about certain things I said in other episodes, but knowing that some people actually watch these episodes before other episodes because they don't want to watch it because of certain reasons, it's because those things happen. Ah, oh, man. But, uh, uh, I was enjoying being lazy, that's why I was gone for so long. I also got done with Chapter 1 with my story, which I put a lot of time into, college, and trying to find a new job so I don't have to be broke for all my life. Uh... Last episodes, we got Yuri Aryakovich being a, a guest voice actor, and the, and the last episode was Gideon trying to get out of prison uh, by having his dad be mayor, and it was the guy who was all like, get him, that, uh, that actually became mayor, and now Gideon is about to make a deal with Bill. I don't know if that's, that, that's going to be highlighted in this episode or it's going to be in another episode. Either way, I'm excited. Let's get started. Three, four, uh, three, two, one now. Okay. Here we go. I know that laugh. Show yourself. Here he is. from me oh quit playing dumb iq you knew i'd be back you think yeah. shutting down that portal can stop what i have planned i've been making deals chatting with old friends preparing for the big day you can't keep that rift safe forever you'll slip up and when you do get out of here you have no dominion in our world maybe not right now but things change stanford pines I have to warn them. Warn He's them. coming. I don't want the series to end. <laughs> oh, please tell me it I, The only problem here is I can't see a threat that's bigger than Bill. And if they take out Bill, what is next? They, mm. All right, Grunkle Stan's gotta have some decent board games. Let's see. Battle shoots and ladder ships, Necronomicon Upoly, Don't Wait mm. Stalin. Hey, what's this? Jeez. What could go wrong in the board game? The last players who opened this box never made it out alive. Huh. Well, I guess they know Let's how play it. Take up the next 21 minutes. Family yeah. meeting! Family meeting! <laughs> All right, Aww. Santiago, you have 24 hours to get these pugs across the U.S. border. Wow, that's actually a thing that they, yeah, that they, <laughs> that they continued up on. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, children, come in, come in. Ooh, mysterious scrolls and potions. Are you going to tell us we're finally of age to go to wizard school? Is there an owl in this bag? No. I can assure you if there's an owl in this bag, he's You're a wizard, Mabel. Aw. Now tell me, children. Do either of you recognize this symbol? I remember that the guy, yeah. You you know him? Know him? He's been terrorizing us all summer. I have so many questions and theories. Dipper's been pretty paranoid since Bill turned him into a living sock puppet. The important <laughs> thing is, we defeated him twice. Once with kittens and once with tickles. It was defeated a him. Ha. than it sounds. The fact yeah. that dealt with Bill is gravely serious. So how do you know Bill? I oh man, does he know Bill? In my time, Dipper. What matters is his powers are growing stronger, and if he pulls off his plans, no one in this family will be safe. 
Just the family, though. Everyone else will be fine. ...from his mental tricks. A way to build-proof the shack. All I have to do is place moonstones here, here, and here. Sprinkle some mercury. Let's see. I always forget the last ingredient. Ugh. Unicorn hair. That's not, Ooh. like, rare, is it? It's hopeless. Unicorns reside deep within an enchanted glade, and their hairs can only be obtained by a pure, good-hearted person who goes on a magical quest to find them. Memo? <laughs> Unicorns. My first word was unicorn. I once made my own unicorn by taping a traffic cone to a horse's head. Nice. Duh. Are you even looking at the sweater I'm wearing right now? Not too many. There's a lot of different sweaters that you wear. Probably the most pure of art person in this room. That's the, true. She has dead is, can't argue there. Yeah. So can no. You you can't can't no. Please, please, please. I'll give you my blood. Very well. Jeez. But it won't be easy. Take this. And this. Ooh. I haven't been in this dimension for a while. It's okay to give children weapons, right? Psh, come no. on, dog. Ah, it's the cops! Got it! <laughs> Candy, Grand of Wendy! Clear the afternoon! So, what are the odds she gets that hair? Unlikely. Uh. I've dealt with unicorns before, and if I had to describe them in one word, it would be frustrating. So, what are we gonna do about Bill? Follow me. <laughs> I wonder what they're going to focus on. I'm merely interested. Welcome to my private study. A place where I keep my most ancient and secret knowledge. Even your Uncle Stan doesn't know about this place. Hmm. Dipper, come along. If we can't bill-proof the shack, we're going to have to do the next best thing. We're going to have to bill-proof our minds. Ooh. <gasps> So they're probably gonna do both. Finally be out on a mission. I'm actually surprised when you're here. Forget the gal talk. I'm here to meet, touch, and or become a unicorn. I hear if you lick a unicorn's neck, it tastes like your favorite flavor in the world. Candy. Raisins? I'm sure. You, you know that reference? You're awesome. Because I care about my <laughs> friends. Honestly, I stopped believing in unicorns when I was like five years old. Who's coming along to keep you kids from walking into a bear trap? Stop! Makes sense. This is the magic part of the forest. Let's see, the gnome tavern is over there, the fairy nail salon is over there, but it says to summon the unicorn, one must bellow this ancient chant droned only by the deepest voiced druids of old. On it! <laughs> Works. I bet you ten bucks nothing happens. I'll take that bet. Yeah, I'll bet you ten bucks everything happens. <laughs> I would like my money, please. <laughs> the paintings airbrushed on the sides of vans were true. Mother of mother! Dream of a dream! No way. Uh, where's my money? There we go. <laughs> Ross? <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh! What's your name? I know it's not him, but jeez. Celeste Bell, Abetha Bell, last of my kind. Come in, come in. The last unicorn? You know that reference, Ross. Awesome. thing about shoes. Uh, uh, I'm talking to all of you. Celeste Bell, Abetha Bell, we have journeyed far and wide. About an hour. On a mission to mm. protect our family <laughs> with your magical hair. This is your chance, Candy. Lick the neck. Like it. Very well. To receive a lock of my enchanted hair, step forth. Girl of pure, perfect heart. Presenting bum ba da ba 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 Mabel. What? You? A unicorn can see deep inside your heart, child. Oh. And you have done Eesh. wrong. Wrong, I say. Maybe, maybe and once or twice. You make fun of Dipper a lot. And I, I mean, the boy band thing. With a crossbow. Watch it be like Wendy or something. Exit is that way. Shoes, shoes, take your shoes. This isn't some, some shoe store. Hey, 
Mabel. Don't let her get to you. Yeah, I wouldn't trust a horse that wears makeup. No, girls. She's right. I used to be one of the sweetest people I knew, but recently I've been slacking in the whole goodness department. Well, Just today we're gonna fix it. From this moment forth, I'm gonna do so many good deeds, I'll have the purest heart in Gravity Falls! <laughs> that, that bird is fine. <laughs> So what is Bill exactly? No one knows for sure. Accounts differ of his true motivations and origins. I know he's older than our galaxy and far more twisted. Mm. Without a physical form, he can only mm. project himself into our thoughts through the mindscape. That's mm. why he wants this. I dismantled the portal, but with this tear, Bill still has a way into our reality. To get his hands on this rift, he would trick or possess anyone. So how do we keep Bill out of our minds? Well, there's a number of ways. I personally had a metal plate installed in my head. <laughs> Good one. <coughs> but this machine Bruh. is safer. <laughs> it will scan your mind, bioelectrically encrypting your thoughts so Bill can't read them. Now, say hello to your thoughts. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm with the author. Might fly down this with me. Girl, Gosh, I have no Wendy, 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 Wendy. You might want to... Ignore that last one. By the way, you never told me what your history with Bill was. Dipper, do you trust me? Well, yeah, but... Then you'll trust that that's not important. Now, focus. Okay. It's time to strengthen your mind. Yes! All right, Mabel. It's time to strengthen your heart. Smile. Strengthen the mind. Strengthen the heart. When, in scientific standpoints, the heart means absolutely nothing. It's all about the mind and the emotional aspects of things, and the heart just really just pumps blood into your as well. But you know, in cartoons and stuff, heart. If anything, soul should be the thing. Scans my heart. She's gonna say I'm absolutely 100% bona fide. Not pure of heart. Booyah! Wait, what? How is that even possible? Mabel's a straight-up saint, you judgmental hoofbag. Please, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Doing good deeds to make yourself look better isn't good at all. Not to mention you're crushing, like, ten dandelions right now. Those are basically children's dreams. <gasps> oh, that is Sorry, actually true. So. A bad person. <gasps> Whoa! in front of a rainbow <laughs> okay it's the oh, fact that you have rarity's cutie mark is it, it's what debating me to actually say if i hate about you the hair anymore guys it's about me being kind and sweet is what makes me who i am if i'm not a good person who am i i'm not leaving this spot until i think of a deed that makes me as good as celeste bell bethabel but mabel just leave me be Guys, if you ask me, this whole thing is a serious load. Mabel's like the best person I've ever met. We tried getting that hair the good way. Now it's time we try the Wendy way. Are you suggesting oh. violence? Sabotage? Yes. Mabel's not going to like that. Mabel doesn't who cares? need to know. Look, yeah. it's time we stop trying to be so perfect and be who we really are. We're crazed, angry, sweaty animals. We're not unicorns. We're women. And we take what we want. Yeah. 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 Windy. Too much. Here's no. what we're gonna do. <laughs> but still, though, Wendy, pure representation of what I look into a girl. Daintiest honeysuckle, please. I'm gonna need to see some ID. Oh, the cops! It's a death. I'm looking for someone who knows how to take down a unicorn. No tricks or games. We are human. We take what we want. Yeah! Fairy dust. A whole magic bag is enough to put a unicorn out cold. But if I do you a favor, you gotta do something for me. Just spill it, half pint! Butterfly trafficking mm. is illegal in this part of the forest. But I like butterflies. They tickle my face and make me laugh. Bring me a bag of butterflies and we got a deal. A bag of butterflies. Sounds easy.
Two bags of fairy dust, just like we agreed. Where do you get this stuff? Everyone likes sausage, but no one likes to know how it's made. You disgust me! You've got your poison, I've got mine. We made a deal. Yeah, well, the deal is up! Freeze! No one will rest! Get down! Get down! These butterflies aren't mine! I swear, I've been framed! Tell it to the adorable owl we've dressed as a judge. My god. Whoa. Good deeds, good deeds. That's, uh, that's not good they're brilliant. Mabel, they're brilliant. Than that. Oh, sure, sure. I wish I could travel, but it's just not feasible in this economy. What the hey? Well. <laughs> Sleep now. Sleep. <laughs> Wake her up. But this is wrong, guys. But protecting the shack is good. That is true. What? Doth mine eyes deceive me? Maybe you shall never be pure of heart. No, you don't understand. I just want to be good like you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta be kidding me. Huh? Yo, Seabeth, are you seriously pulling this pure of heart scam again? That is messed up, man. Wait, scam? Kid, unicorns can't see into your heart. All our dumb horns can do is glow, point towards the nearest rainbow, and play rave music. <laughs> yeah, the whole pure of heart racket is just a line we use to get humans to leave us alone. Guys, <laughs> shut up! Charlie! All this time, all this time I thought I was a bad person. Oh, Charlie. man. We have more hair than we know what to do with, and we keep it to ourselves just to tick humans off. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? Huh? What are you gonna do? That works. She just punched a unicorn. Yeah. Yeesh. And watch. Of course. Uh, of course. Taking forever. How long have I been doing this for? Why Probably a while. Have to be so mysterious about Bill. I can handle the truth. I wonder what Great Uncle Ford is thinking. Use the machine. It'll show you his thoughts. I shouldn't. He won't know. He's going to tell you eventually. The more you I know mean... about Bill, the more you can help. Man, I am really good at rationalizing. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Wow. Just a little peek. What are you hiding about Bill? <laughs> the fact that... Where are these ideas coming from? Who are you working with? My brother is a dangerous know-it-all. He would trick or possess anyone, and it's a deal. From now until the end of time. Just let me into your mind, Stanford. Please, call me a friend. You shouldn't have done that. Who are you, Ben? Why? Why were you shaking hands with Bill? You said Bill could possess anyone so he could get this. Careful! <laughs> Hand me the rift. Now, boy. Why were you? I am legit like surprised right now. Right now? Now just, just calm down. Pine tree? Is that what you were going to call me? I was gonna say, please, kid. Great Uncle Ford told me to protect the rift. Get one step closer and I'll shoot. I'll erase you right out of Ford's head. It's me, Dipper. It's your uncle. Trust no one. Trust no one. Just hand it to me. Oh, let go of me. Now, now, just calm down. Calm down. Look into my eyes. Look at my pupils. It's me, Dipper. It's me. I tried to erase your mind. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Dipper. Besides, my mind can't be erased anyway, remember? Because that middle plate thing. If that really was Bill, though, you would have done great. I should have been more like you when I was young. Dipper, I was a fool to try to hide all this. The reason I've been trying to prepare you for Bill's tricks is because Bill tricked me. It's the biggest regret of my life. Bill wasn't always my enemy, Dipper. I used to think he was my friend. 
long, mm. long ago. I had Here we go. Block in my investigation of Gravity Falls. Until I found some mysterious writing in a cave. Ancient incantations about a being with answers. It warned me not to read them, but I was desperate. I read the inscription aloud, but nothing happened. Until later that afternoon, when I had the most peculiar dream. Yeah, weird eye things on trees. Yeah. Yeah, those are natural in nature, but those look way too white. Hi, a smart guy. Smart guy. Smart guy. Yeah. Whoa, don't have a heart attack. You're not 92 yet. Who are you? Name's Bill. And your name's Stanford Pines, the man who changed the world. But I'm getting ahead of ourselves. Let's relax. Care for a game of interdimensional chess? I'm gonna win, by the way. He told me he was a muse, that he chose one brilliant mind a century to inspire. What a fool I was, blinded by his flattery and games. He became my research assistant. He was free to move in and out of my mind as he pleased. We were partners. When he told me that I could complete my research by building a gateway to other worlds, I trusted him. He said this was the way genius happened. With a little help from a friend. It seemed that I was on the verge of my greatest achievement. Until my partner got a glimpse of Bill's true plans. Bill, you lied to me. Where does that portal really lead? Oh, looks like Mr. Brainiac finally got smart. Let's just say that when that portal finishes charging up, your dimension is going to learn how to party. Right, guys? No, I'll stop you. I'll shut it down. A deal's a deal, Stixer. You can't stop the bridge between our worlds from coming, but it would be fun to watch you try. Cute even. I'd been betrayed. I shut the portal down, severing the link between Bill's world and ours. I had to hide my instructions so no one could ever finish Bill's work. Bill's been waiting for the gateway to reopen ever since. All he needs to do is get his hands on this rift. To Bill, it's just a game. But to us, it would mean the end of our world. Oh, man. Oh, man, indeed. Mm. Uh, I'm so that, that just legit surprised me. From now on, no more secrets between us. We're not the first two idiots to be tricked by Bill, boy. But if we work together, we could be the last. But what about Bill? I broke the machine. Now we have no way to protect the shack. Did someone say unicorn hair? Uh, nice. No, actually. Oh, that would have been perfect. Either way, we got some unicorn hair. Also nice. some unicorn tears, unicorn eyelashes. They finally gave us this treasure just to get rid of us. Nice. Can't be. <laughs> this nice. is a great day, girls. With this unicorn hair, we'll be able to completely shield the shack from Bill's mind-reading tricks. Is it okay? Oh, Better than okay. It's perfect. You've protected your family. You're a good person, Mabel. Oh, you're great. Thanks, Grunkle Ford. But today I learned that morality is relative. Money! There you are. Wow. Wow. Perfect. This will protect us from Bill. As long as we're inside, our minds are safe. I guess I can't possess anyone inside the shack. So I'll just have to find my next pawn on the outside. Man, this series, man. <clears throat> okay, now to say this, said the least, when it came to the whole Stanford, Stanford Pines and him being the twin brother of uh, Stan and all that. It, it was in the air to the point where just like it's pretty obvious at this point and when I did it and when I saw that people were still just they were kind of like dude you, you should have listened all the way fully but I still did listen all the way fully it was a brother and I do it actually put two and two together if it looked like him it was a twin brother it was his brother he was the author of the journals it's obvious don't come at me with I didn't listen to the full extent of everything because it was really obvious at that point. Then there was some other twists and turns, just like the whole Gideon thing, a little anticlimactic, real good twists and all that stuff, but this one legit got me. Like, legit, I didn't see that coming for a, like a millisecond. I didn't even try to put any pieces together that uh, Stanford already knew Bill to the point where it just like 
they're like partners in 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 crime. Well, not really crime because one didn't even want to do something like that. But the fact of the matter is, now it makes more sense to me how Sanford Sanford's smart. But was he smart enough to make that gigantic portal thing that can rip dimensions with a partner that just uh, like that? It, it, it should have dawned on me like, are they that smart? And now it just like, and now, now it brings up the, now it brings it up. It's just like, of course you're gonna need a superpowered, like demon esque, infinite knowledge thing to help you make something that only not even uh, the smartest of minds can possibly do. And that makes sense now. That's great. I like how they put that piece together, and it really surprised me. And uh, I really thought he was like, I, I, I wasn't really going for possessed. I was thinking that working with, and then now he's revealed to work with. But no, he he used to have this bond with them. Now it's gone because of his true intentions, and that's something. Uh, man, I'm still I'm still trying to learn more about Bill. I need to learn more about Bill to understand him. And this is, this is a great series. So I'm gonna get on to the next episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.